What's up everyone, Dabblead here with another Hunter's Guide to Monster Hunter World. In this episode we're going to bring you a guide to the Elder Melder. The Elder Melder is a store or utility that becomes unlocked as you progress through the game. And it has three functions. Now, the Elder Melder is located in the trade yard, standing atop what looks like a big pot. This is the melding pot where she will meld the items that you require. However, this also could be seen as a little bit of a gambling machine, especially when it comes to jewels and endgame materials. But anyway, if you talk to the Elder Melder, you'll be given three options. Meld items, meld decorations, and first Wyvarian ritual. We'll go through each of them. First, the meld items. This is a pretty standard function where you can craft items, ammunition, and monster materials from different items you have collected during your hunts. So this can be quite a time saver. Now on the left will be the items that you want to craft. In the middle will be the number of points needed to craft said item. And on the right are the ingredients that are contained within your item box. Each item or ingredient has a point value. So you have to put a certain amount of the ingredients into the pot in order to create the item you want. So for example, I normally create Mega Demon Drug or Mega Demon Armor using the Meld Items function. So I would click on the item I want, the Mega Demon Drug, then put some spare ingredients that I don't really need into the pot to create the items. This is, like I said, a time saver, especially when it comes to rarer consumable items or materials. You will also notice as well when you first click on the Elder Melder that there is a bonus ingredient section found on the right. Basically this increases the point value of materials related with that bonus ingredient. So as you can see during this week, it was Flying Wyvern. So Flying Wyvern material was highlighted in yellow, indicating that it had increased point values. This will change from time to time, it's not always Flying Wyverns, so keep an eye on this. Anyway, if you're looking for rarer monster materials, you can also meld these. This is useful if you're trying to get a certain piece of armour or weapon. Most of these are made from Wyvarian prints that you find during your journeys. They'll either be steel, silver or gold Wyvarian prints. With gold being the rarest and normally rewards from doing the limited bounties, the weekly bounties basically. These can help you get the rarest of items, which are the various monster gems. Anyway, that's the meld items section. Next we'll move on to meld decorations, also known as jewels. This is an area where you can craft some of the basic resistance and elemental jewels in the game. Again, it's a similar method where you have your desired item on the left, the points needed in the middle, and on the right, the materials or ingredients you have in your bag. However, when it comes to melding decorations, you have to put in jewels that you have already collected in order to create them. So whilst melding decorations is quite useful at the start, when you first start farming tempered monsters and that, it nonetheless becomes less and less useful as you go through the game. They may add more jewels eventually to this list, but at the moment it's just the basic defense jewel, your resistance jewels, and your elemental attack jewels. But anyway, moving on to the last and probably the most interesting yet frustrating aspects of the Elder Melder, which is the first Wyvarian ritual. This is to do with streamstones, and they're located in the right panel underneath the bonus ingredients. Anyway, this is a, well, for lack of a better word, glorified dual gambling machine. When you click on it, you'll have three options. Spire Sorcery, Coral Concoction, and Strange Stream. Think of these as different tiers, with the Spire one being tier one, and the Strange one being tier three. These indicate the potential rarity of the gems you get out of this ritual. But anyway, what's the point of the first Wyvarian ritual? Well, it's a way of getting the rarer gems in the game without constantly grinding tempered monsters, but it's a gamble. Nonetheless though, it's a way of spending your excess jewels that you actually already have. So say you build up quite a collection of anti-blast jewels and so on, it's a way of converting them into potentially a jewel you actually want. So anyway, you click on the actual melding technique that you want, and then you start adding jewels that you don't need into the melding pot. Once you've put enough points in, click meld and then your console will save. It will save to prevent you from simply quitting out the game and getting your materials back to perform another gamble. Anyway, once you're ready, click meld and your phase stones will be created. You then have the option to appraise them and fingers crossed you get a jewel that you actually want. Of course, depending on what, what tier of melding technique you use, the amount of points and jewels that actually have to be put into the pot are more or less. So if you do a spy one, it's only a few jewels. If you do a strange stream, then it's quite a substantial amount. Now for those of you who are wondering, the Spire Sorcery requires a Streamstone Shard, the Coral Concoction requires a Streamstone, and the Strange Stream requires a Gleaming Streamstone. Now it's not always wise to blow all of your Streamstones on the first Wyvarian Ritual. This is because they're actually used in augmenting your equipment, namely your armour. So don't spend all of them on just simply gambling away on jewels. Save some for the gear you want to augment and upgrade. Overall the Elder Melder is a odd function. It does have its uses though. The meld items is very handy for if you need a certain item in a pinch. 
and the first Wyvarian ritual is a way of spending excess jewels. Although most of the time you don't get what you actually want out of it, it's nonetheless an option to potentially cut down the grind for the rarer jewels in the game. But anyway, I hope you found this information helpful, and until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you a hunter's guide to the Elder Melder in Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.